So in this video, we are going to download and install um, Charter or Spectrum antivirus that you get free from um, your Spectrum subscription to internet. Let's go do that. So all you have to do is go to in any web browser, go to spectrum.net spectrum.net so this is the web address that you need to go press enter so you should see this web page if you're not seeing this web page you're not at the correct address all you have to do is just log in uh, with your username and password if you don't know your username and password and you know that you had created the account uh, you can retrieve it from forgot username or forgot username or password or you can call spectrum of course uh, the, you have to have a bill copy handy if you have never created this one so obviously you don't have a username password then you have to create an account using this link create a username again if you don't have a uh, bill copy do not go uh, through the steps because you will be uh, as some information out of it there is a way you can still create a username using the phone number uh, but it has to be cell phone if you'd give a landline number you may not receive that text message that they sent to verify you so it, like I said it's better to have a bill copy so I'm gonna I don't remember if it's the right one I'm gonna just give it a try and see if I can log in I guess it logged me in <clears throat> so mm, don't save so there are three tabs accounts billing service and settings in this page <clears throat> all you have to do is just click on come on services it's a little bit slower and then oh this is why zone you can manage your uh, found here so you need to click on internet right here so from services to internet and then go to security suite that's the one that you need so it will open this web page you can try to go that uh, directly <laughs> from this video um, but again it will ask you to um, like login so you have to be logged in back uh, when spectrum changed their antivirus from McAfee to F secure um, McAfee <clears throat> was a little bit hassle there was an extra step involved that you had to go create a spectrum email address or charter email address then you have to go log in authentication and it was just too much this one I like it as long as you as soon as you're logged into your account you should be able to download and install it so <clears throat> this one is much better it's saying that I already have a um, license somewhere I probably downloaded on this machine let me see if I have a <clears throat> probably this is the one no application my Let me actually delete everything here. I don't need this. Let's go show you from the start. So all you have to do is click. Uh, all you have to do is to click this button, this blue button that says install, and it will ask you, do you have a Mac or Windows? Obviously, Windows machine. Give a device a name. I'm gonna give it Win 10 Office. 365 VM virtual machine because this is a virtual machine I'm running but you don't have to <clears throat> worry about that just name a device so because you have 10 licenses yeah. so just name devices so you it's easier for you to um, manage them and you can uh, revoke access to any device for example you had given a license to a friend and you know they have lost or they sold the laptop or it was one of your computer you can simply uninstall from here like remove that license and that pc will go out of uh, protection download the installer on the current device yes download 
So what it, the last screen was saying is that are you installing it over here or for another machine? So obviously I'm installing it over here. Your download is starting now, just. So you click done, nothing happened. It's not installed yet. If you were using any other browser, then you should go to um, this, um, uh, your downloads and see wherever you had set up. Mine is default here. So, but again, then you will save the, first you will save it. It will save to a location and then you run it. But since I'm running this, so I can simply click on run. But if you have the uh, only option on the screen you have is for save, then save it. Probably um, <clears throat> better to save it on the desktop and then run. Uh, I'm tempted to do that. Let's save it. So it's saved, right? It doesn't mean that it is, it's installed. Now I have to go and find that installer. It's somewhere in hard drive. So don't think that uh, your PC is protected now and you have this uh, antivirus running. It's giving me option, charter network installer. This finished downloading and it's telling me to run it or open folder. I want to see open folder and see. You see it's in downloads. If I show you via this one like open up <clears throat> again this one is giving me so if, for example this is your my computer this computer then you have to go to your download folder like on my device it's download and it's right there so now we have double click on this it will ask do you want to install it yes now next is security suite setup do you want to help them by sending non personalized data and accept and continue now this is the one now it's still downloading first you only downloaded the installer what it does is uh, or for the most part most of the softwares there what they have done is rather than to release and update they have made this these setups like uh, um, these installer uh, to download the latest files at the time of installation so it's not like they have to release uh, a, form, a thing uh, like an installer in January in six months or nine months or ten months or after a year people are still using those old files so if somebody is installed in January yes and then in September those files are already nine months old so with this installer this thing uh, whenever they run the installer they get the most up-to-date files now it's installed you see it says spectrum security suite and your computer is protected blah 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 parental control so now this is installed once you were you uh, you were running uh, the installer so what happened is that uh, that installer go online gets the latest files and install the uh, um, download and install them this process quickly take about like maybe 10 seconds uh, and you should see, see this screen once you see this it means that it has been installed and you can see that it's uh, running in real time and it's uh, um, checking files and everything I'm gonna make another video about the reviews and what you can do with this all these options let's uh, cl close it and if you can set the settings and all that um, <clears throat> that's for another video it, it was just an installation so if I close it you and you're wondering if it's still there running yes it runs in the background and you can see it over here so it's security suite if you double click it you will see it will pop up and you will see your this screen if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one